right. now let's get started with a uwb a board how to get using so we'll be using dw3000 series uwb chip is uh, produced by the maker fab we can use any chip is available there are a lot of players are there in this like nxp um, and corvo and even an apple is manufacturing so you can use any chip but this tutorials will be the mainly focusing on the dw3000 series uwb chip by the maker fab so first we need to why the, the chip is available in the maker fab site or any related sites you can check it out this link is provided in the description and cost around 43 and shipping charges may vary so this is a 3000 series chip and please note that the previous version was, was dw1000 series so this is a little different it has a more features and more security and more it's a fira compliant than the pre previous chip so you can buy from this uh, location and the next thing what we need is Arduino ID. So Arduino ID can be downloaded from Arduino site. So for this tutorial, I'm using 2.1.1. We can use anything is available with you. And third, we need ESP32 UWV DW3000 series library. So this Arduino by itself doesn't support the DW3000 library. It doesn't come with this library. We need to download separately. So we'll go to the link. It's right at the Maker Fab. The link is in pre present in the description. You can download this chip file and copy this DW3000 folder into the the library folder present in your PC. So wherever you install the Arduino, so there will be a folder called libraries. You need to copy that this DW3000 folder in the lab into the libraries folder. So then only the code will start compiling and work. Once you copy this one, you can open the. You can go to the directly the library folder. So once you copy this, the zip, extract the zip folder and copy the DW3000 folder into the libraries folder of your PC. Go into that folder and there will be examples will be there. There are a lot of examples we can explore. Today we will be concentrating on the how to read the device ID of the UWB chip. For that you can go to the first example folder and open that. Once you open the code in Arduino IDE, basically the first line is importing the DW3000 header files where all the functions are defined. Then this is the app name, you can change it to your name, anything. And these pins are critical, crucial. Don't change it until unless you are using additional UWB chip which support the SPI communication and uh, it has to be connected to the, your board. So these are the SPI pins are connected from the ESP board to the DW3000 controller and in the setup it's in slicing the UART to send the data and then it's checking for the device ID in the device ID API is written the success then it will printing device ID is okay otherwise it will print device ID is failed so let's compile this program If you're compiling, if you install the Arduino ID first time and copy these library files, you may find these kind of errors in the first time. So issue here, let's debug it. So it's saying that like there's a CPP file, the is a function void wait for the system status was not is an issue. So let's open this file. Go to source. Yeah. 
function. This position. So for time being, so this is basically this function is waiting for the system status, and while compiling this function, it's throwing the error. So for time being, we can mask this function. We don't need this function in our application. So we'll just comment out, save it, we'll back to program, we'll come again. The compiling may take some time, depends on your program side. So now it's compiled successfully. You can see the ELF files are created and the, the, the compiling message, compilation done without any errors. So now let's connect our board and verify. So first time if you're connecting the ESP board to your PC or laptop, you may need a driver to detect that as a COM port because the Arduino ID come, loads the program into the controller using a COM port. So you need the COM port has to be detected. For that, you need to download the additional libraries, drivers to detect that COM ports. The link is given below. So you can install the download uh, VCP drivers. The first one, because I'm using the Windows PC. And once the down the chip file is downloaded, you can extract it and run the INF file. For the more instructions, it is available in the downloaded folder only. So once you connect your UWB chip to the controller, press to the laptop, you may detect a COM port. It is appeared under the COM port section of the device manager, and this is a COM port. So the now under the serial COM4 is nothing but the UWB chip connected to the our laptop and over this the communication is going on forward so we'll go to the Arduino in we'll go to tools we'll select this COM port then you also you need to make sure that you are selecting the the correct board ESP32 dev module To come this dev module. So when you install the Arduino IDE in the first time, you may not seeing this ESP32 dev boards. For that, you need to go to the preferences and uh, this link in the board manager. You need to add this link. This link I'll be giving in the description. You copy this link into the preferences of board manager and draw and click OK. Then if you go to the boards you will be getting ESP32 is coming up and then you go to the ESP32 dev board module and select that one. Once you select it, you can download it. Just for double checking, you can check on the get board info, which will give you the VDI and PDI and serial number of the board which is connected. Now you can click on the upload. Once the program is successfully uploads. You may see in the device ID OK is message printing with the device ID number. Open the serial port. Make sure that the baud rate is correct. And you reset the board one time. Yeah. So as soon as the device check ID function is called out. It reads the device ID and returns the device ID number. And it also returns the return type as a success. So, and so the finally we are printing device ID is OK. This is the first program to get started with the UWB. Thank you all.